my name is Doug, and here is the real news. R. Kelly sentenced to 30 years in prison for sex trafficking and racketeering. It is said upon hearing the verdict, R. Kelly went from pissed on to pissed off. Wait, do people piss on R. Kelly? I tell you what, uh, R. Kelly's going to get peed on a lot in prison. They don't like, uh, you know, they, they don't like those uh, pedophiles. Maps! I'm sorry, maps. Minor attracted persons. I don't want to offend pedophiles or create a stigma for pedophiles. Yeah, I think about it. Uh, the pedophiles, they probably deserve that stigma, right? Ghislaine Maxwell. Ghislaine? Ghislaine? Ghislaine Maxwell put on suicide watch ahead of sentencing. She has also been put on what is referred to as the Clinton watch. Okay, it looks like uh, the suicide watch keeps her from killing herself and the Clinton watch uh, stops Bill or Hillary Clinton from killing her. You, you guys know that the Clintons are murderers, right? I thought it was a matter of public record. That's what I heard. Anyway, Connecticut woman arrives home to find a bear in the house. Reach for comment. The woman stated that she spotted the bear sleeping in the bed that wasn't too hard or too soft, but was just right. <laughs> Good for the bear. GOP Representative Miller, speaking alongside Trump, calls SCOTUS ruling victory for white life. Oops. Uh, a spokesperson told the Associated Press that the line was a mix-up of words. The prepared speech actually read, this is a victory for white power. Well, that's not much better either. That's still racist as fuck. Ridiculous. I need to hydrate based on how ridiculous that was. Two Canadians found dead in Mexico resort. In true Canadian form, Canada has apologized to the Mexico resort for the disruption, saying they were very sorry. Wow, Canadians are really polite, man. Our next story, NASA fuels moon rocket for countdown rehearsal. NASA stated that if all goes well with rehearsal, they will once again fake a moon landing. I hope rehearsal goes well. Our next story, 6,000 bees removed from the walls of a Nebraska couple's home. Reach for comment, the couple was asked how they were doing and stated none of your beeswax. Our next story, high school will retire its Native American mascot. The Tampa Bay school retired its mascot, the Chief, after massive backlash from white girls on Twitter. The Native community is saddened by the loss of the mascot. God. Really, when can we, uh, when can we stop stealing from the Natives? Ridiculous. Our next story, Martin Sheen says he regrets changing his name from Ramon Estevez. Also regretting the name change, Emilio Estevez. Charlie Sheen, he gets all that uh, name recognition, man. Poor Emilio Estevez, nobody even heard of the poor fucker. Our next story, monkeypox, not yet a global emergency. Who says? Wow, these ladies are all over me. You know, this I just don't know if I can trust a headline that doesn't reveal their sources. They, they never revealed who. Who said it? Do better. Do better. Ridiculous. Our next story. Mom charged after toddler's body found in freezer. Mm. Reach for comment. The mother stated that she put the boy in time out. This isn't even funny. You know, this, this is tasteless. Yeah, I think Danny. Danny wrote this joke. Danny. Danny, this joke is, uh, it's sad. Somebody died. If I showed this joke, you submitted me to your mother, Danny. Son of a bitch. In more bear news, a bear makes repeated visits to Florida golf course and tennis courts. The golf club has filed trespass against the bear, who they call Berenstein, uh, because the club rules specifically states no Jews allowed. Oh, oh, it's one of those clubs. Uh, yeah, it doesn't have anything to do with them being a bear. Berenstein. Our next story, off-duty police officer allegedly punches woman and political rival at an abortion rally. In a twist of irony, the punch to the woman resulted in her having a miscarriage. 
Hmm. Well, you know. And finally, Taco Bell is testing a new Cheez-It Tostada and Crunchwrap Supreme. Taco Bell is also testing... <laughs> I can't... I'm really tired. That's going to be a blooper and we're going to have to go back and cut that shit out. And finally, uh, Taco Bell is testing a Cheez-It Tostada and Crunchwrap Supreme. Taco Bell is also testing a new slogan. Try getting this in Tijuana, you gringo. Go to Mexico and ask for a Crunchwrap Supreme. Or a cheesy, cheesy, wheezy gordita. They'll fuck you up, man. They'll fuck you up in the parking lot, yo. And that was the real news. That was the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but ridiculous. See you next time.